Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm just doing a quick video, and it's kind of my opinion on you know the best PC case for between let's say 50 and 75 pound. Now this kind of price range is really competitive, and Antec and Coolmaster have been kind of dominated for a while. Um, but I've been looking at a new case, so I decided to pick one up, and I picked up the um, CM Storm Enforcer. Now this is a really nice, uh, aggressive looking case, which I kind of like. I don't really like the plain back ones. Um, well, I'm not going to be showing you in a minute. I'm going to be showing you the pictures of it and stuff. But if you are interested in this case after the review, you know, hop onto the Cooler Master website and just read the specs and stuff like that. But I'm just going to be running over the main features of my new case. Hmm. So, like I said, it's called the CM Storm Enforcer. Um, relatively new compared to the Half, which has been out for a while. Um, and yeah, so. This case I managed to pick up for sixty pounds because I don't have to pay VAT at work, which is nice. Uh, you may just pay it for sixty-five, seventy pounds, something like that. So from this first picture, you can see it's got a nice clear window and a two hundred mil fan in the top. You can see on this picture it's got a two hundred mil uh, rear fan, all the USBs on the front. Uh, the rear of the case does have water cooling, but it's only one hundred twenty mil, so I'd say on this one it's better to stick with air. Um, that's just a picture of the front. That door at the top opens for your optical drives. You can you can take the door off if you want even a more aggressive look. Um, this one, it, the case does come with the 200 mil front of the fan with dust um, filter. It comes red, so if you wanted to change that, you can do. Um, that's the side panel, plain black, which is nice because I don't have mine facing that way anyway. Um, as you can see, an all black interior, which is pretty much standard for a decent case now. All the design is toolless. You can see on the right hand side there, it's got removable hard drives, quick hot swapping. Uh, the bottom there, it's got a mount for an SSD, well, two SSD drives. Um, all in all, in the case, you'll actually find it quite spacious, even for the larger video cards, which you can see here. Um, I don't have a large video card because I don't really play intensive games or anything, but it does have the room if you take out the hard drive cage, and it still leaves you enough room for three hard drives in there. The cable management in this case is superb. It's so easy. It's got a nice depth at the back to you know have your 24 pin in there because um, that's quite a thick cable. Just all in all, a really nice case. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to show you a few pictures of my actual PC setup and stuff. Still need to do a little, um, a few modifications to it, but we're on the way. So as you can see here, I painted the front of mine red. The grills at the bottom there just to make it stand out more at night. Uh, that's an inside shot of the cable and so far pretty much nice I've, as you can see there in the middle I've got the 24 pin uh, NZXT adjustment another shot of the PC from the top with all the fans another shot of it inside looking nice with a cool master V8 on there tank CPU and just to show you um, just a picture of what it looks like in your games room so you can get this size so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, just a quick review of the CM Storm Enforcer. If you're looking for a, a case at this kind of price range, you know, definitely have a look for it. Um, if you guys have got any, you know, cases that you picked up cheap at, in this kind of price range, let me know. Send a link. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Cheers.